When the Alberta government unveiled its new climate change strategy on Sunday, it was relying on this 97-page report from a panel of experts to help the government draw up a sophisticated strategy that involved things like putting a cap on oil sands emissions and phasing out all coal-fired electricity plants, as well as putting a price on carbon. Well, when the Wild Rose responded today on Monday, it put out basically a one-page release that can be boiled down to one line, stop the carbon tax. So the Wild Rose is not really talking about climate change, it's focused on taxes. The Wild Rose, you could argue, is being simplistic, disingenuous, and it should actually be talking about how to reduce emissions over the next decade or so. And the Wild Rose is saying it does believe in climate change, but it's saying the more immediate problem is people's jobs. And the NDP is overtaxing the economy and it's costing people's jobs. So the Wild Rose is focused not on the climate, but on taxes. Now, the thing is, though, it's a perfectly reasonable and understandable political response because the Wild Rose is talking to a much different political base, a constituency, than the NDP. The NDP supporters want the province to do something on climate change and reduce emissions. The Wild Rose supporters a lot less so. So this debate over climate change might actually turn into a debate in Alberta over taxes. I'm Graham Thompson for the Edmonton Journal.